Hi everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Oh. So either way, if you want, so I'm in Leeds. I um I have got a hospital appointment tomorrow. So if you sort of don't know, I'll hand it over to future Leo. In 2016, I started to do makeup videos, not knowing that I am transgender. In 2018, I just came out as transgender, so I didn't want anyone to know, so I kept going with makeup videos until... 2020, my voice started to get a bit more deeper, and I, and I had to let everyone know that I am transgender. In 2021, I started my music career and I helped to get my feelings out. We are going to have fun this summer. And then, October 18th, 2021, I decided to change my name legally to Leone. Hi everyone, my name's Leone and I'm from Skate. Hi everyone, my name's Leone and I'm from Skate. Then in 2022 to 2024, I just wait for the next point in my transition journey. When you don't know what to do with your life, two, all you do is talk shit all day. Three, you just talk shit behind people's backs. That's the way you ask for it. You receive it, and then you go, boy, why well, you would think that's okay, you wouldn't like it, if I did that to you, boy, I think you're not okay, you're playing with my head, are you okay? When they 
told me the news I didn't know what to do My heart shattered into a million pieces A million pieces So yeah, I'm here for the night, but I've got the appointment tomorrow, it's just like, so basically, the hospital appointment is at 1 o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. The reason why we're here for the night is because one time we did the same day bus, it wasn't the right bus, and we nearly missed the appointment by like, like 5 minutes, and... Yeah, we're, we're like the stay over, we've done a few overnight trips Because sometimes appointments can be like 10 o'clock in the morning Or like 5 o'clock in the afternoon I mean like 12 o'clock in the afternoon So that's why we're like staying overnight And if you are wondering, oh, why are you getting ready? It's because I need to look nice to go at Harvey Nichols Because Harvey Nichols is a designer store And I'm hoping to buy some of it First I'm having money big lumps of money since January which I have invested in my cosmetics brand which has not sold anything yes I am very real nothing has been sold so it has been a huge failure and if you just want I'll put the promo up now Yeah, it's been a couple of hours now. So I've been to Harvey and Nichols, if you can tell the bugs there. Because it's raining. Um, it's, I've been back in the hotel for like the past hour. I'm gonna thank the lovely woman that served us in Harvey Nichols in the late store. She was so nice. Okay, I didn't have a lot of money to get full size products, but I did have enough to buy these. I saw they, well, I saw these and I was like, are they trios? And I was like, oh. And by the way, these are Fenty, so I've never tried Fenty before, so it'll be first try. So I've got these three, the Trio Lip Oil, which are Passion Fruit, which is that one, Cherry, and then Melon, and that one. And then I've got this little lip mask, and it is Salted Caramel. Uh, the woman was like, have you ever tried Fenty? I was like, no. She was like, oh. And I was like, what made you want to shop Fenty now? I was like, well, I've just started my new job. <laughs> well, I've been working there for like three, no, six months. So I've just finally gotten the courage to finally buy some it. So then she gave us loads of samples. Okay, I can take this tissue out of the bag there. My mum's already saying. But she's given us a lip oil, which is in the shade Fenty Glow. Now she's given us two uh, skin tints uh, in shade two and five. They kind of look similar. Oh wait, no, they don't. So yeah, and then she's gifted us foundation samples. <laughs> like one, two, three, four. Four books of these. I'm somewhere in between like these, I think. But she hasn't circled these because these are quite light. But thank well she's given me them. Okay, she's circled one two five and one one fifty and that one. Circled 185 as well. That looks like a kind of a summer shade. Circled any of these. So are these actually fit? Oh my god they are. Soft matte. Ooh. I don't know how much the foundation is. I think it's like £30. Yeah. I want to go because I need uh, eight of our food. Like a little bit. So yeah. Bye bye. Okay, hello everyone. Okay, it's been two weeks since the appointment. So I'm actually gonna do just a little haul and then I'll give you a cut. So as you know, I went to Harvey and Nichols and then I went to Harvey and Nichols again the next day. You already know what's in this one, which is Rip. So this is the Finty Beauty. I can't remember the, uh, what's her name? 
the person's name, but just give it to, well, this is what I bought. I bought the Trio Lip Oil and the Lip Mask. Yes, Lip Mask. And then these other like free products that she gave us. Love her so much. So she just gave us a skin tint a drop. She just gave us two shades of this. This is a two. And then she gave us a five. Test them out. They just gave us a lip oil, I think. Or lip, I don't know. It's gloss block. So it's probably lip gloss. And this is in Fenty Glow shade one. And then she just gave me two samples of the Butcher Tone. So I think it's like one for your fierce. And then she just gave me four palettes of foundation samples. So you want to cut this up as soon as you can. Nothing in that one. And this one it is 125 up here and 150. So in this one she circled 185. And then this one nothing. I'm going to be testing them out because I'm going down to uh, Leeds again in like couple of months so that's that in that bag and i spent in this bag i spent 63 pound and 50 pence that's the most i've ever spent on two products before i'll test them out in other videos because i've never tried fit beauty and i've always wanted to try it so that's in the rip bag because of the rain so this big bag here um so it's either Charlotte Tilbury or Fenty Beauty, I can't remember. Fenty Skin again. So this one, I didn't get any sample. I'm sorry to say this, but whoever served us, please have a smile on your face because you, you were just on your phone. Like, that's my, just my opinion, okay? So I've picked up this duo, Lip Care Duo. So I've got in the Cherry Lip Oil and the Vanilla. Yeah, and the Vanilla Lip Mask. And then in the bag, bear in mind, my appointment was on the 1st of October. Listen to this and I'll even put a picture of Classic Fenty uh, Makeup Masterclass hosted by the team of Harvey Nichols, Harvey Nichols Lee. This is the date, Friday the 27th of September. The event starts at 6.30, tickets from £45. Ticket price includes a glass of set one arrival, Fenty Beauty Makeup Masterclass, three dishes and two cocktails, plus a luxury goodie bag and £20 gift voucher to be redeemed against any Fenty products purchased on the night and then it says the address so uh, bear in mind this was the first of october when i got this what was the date the 27th of october i mean 27th of september and i had a look i'm thinking when is this because i might want to come down and say it but when i saw the tick price i was like no and i'm not paying 45 pound even though that you get to set warm food and cocktails and that on the house and a luxury goodie bag and then i looked at the date again i think i checked it about three times my mum was like did you say september i was like yeah. She's like, do you know what month of those? I was like, October. And I clicked and I was like, why have they put this in the bag? So what I spent on this bag is £34. Pretty good, but no samples. Because I would love to have samples because I would like to try the products out if I want to try and buy them. So that was Fenty Skin or slash Fenty Beauty. So this little bag. I've always wanted to try it. But I've never had the money to do so. So now we're going to get into this bag. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I've always wanted to try Charlotte Tilbury. I always thought it was a like, Which it is. So I've decided to get two minis. Because I can't afford the full size products. And what happens if I don't like the full size products? So I have all, I've gotten the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. But it's tiny. And then I've gotten the Hollywood Flawless. Is it still a foundation? I don't know. And I've got this in two fair. So yeah, and then the powder I got one fair, so roughly the same shade. And then the samples that I got with this one, it is perfume samples. So I got in the Palm Bliss, which I haven't tried, but I'm gonna try in the future. But the Charlotte Tilbury stuff is just gonna be used on the special occasion. Then this other fragrance I got is Cosmic Powder, which is looks good. So the flawless filters. So. I mean, they the are flawless, so the flawless product. For the mini flawless Hollywood flawless filter, I paid £15. Then for the powder, I paid £22. So all together, that is £37. But I like the person that served us on the Charlotte Tilbury uh, till, because she was actually pretty nice. She was actually nice, to be honest. She was like, is it for you? And I was like, yeah. And then she was like, and then she picked up the shares. So I was like, which ones were nearest? And I was like, I think that's the ones that I loved online as well. And she was like, oh, well, I hope you enjoy. Here's a few fake ones. And I was like, okay. And yeah, now it's about the appointment. I got there on time, um, probably like two minutes later, because 
We didn't all. We, we, we thought it was like the same hospital where well, Ben last year getting blood done. Nope, it was a different hospital but on the same side so we had to walk all the way around. Further back, it was like a psych hospital and I was like, okay, psych hospital, alright. It was kind of scary because it was place in and out. I was like, is it safe in there yet? Because it was like criminals confessing the things that they've done and like, it's terrifying. So I would, I just kept on getting shot because there was police coming in and out and there was like this little walkway and I'm thinking, what's the police? Loads of people then taking it out. Just like, is it even safe in here to even talk about what I'm, like, how I identify as trans? So we had this little chat. During this chat, she told us, you'll get a PA, you know? Like my own personal doctor for this transition. So this doctor will refer us to surgeries, uh, for surgery, to like my hormones and everything else basically. And when she told me the things that I could get done with this with this doctor for referrals, and um, get me voice done so that I don't need surgery and just get changed, like talking. Um, I can have surgery on my body my hormones and what else was it i don't know what else but there was like tiny few so i just gave her the main one so then when i do say this doctor i can just tell her straight away what i want like what i want or need so the first thing is hormones uh that means i'll have to get the blood tested again um so i used to getting blood stone because this is like life as a transgender woman like you have to get your blood stone every in time i'm used to because i had around about like 20 blood tests done last year and i normally want to get like one every two years so yeah so i had around about 20 blood tests last year and it was like and i'm just like how the I'm still alive because the last blood test that I had to get done uh, was this year and it was to get tested for diabetes and all that because I was feeling a bit way but actually it was my vitamin D which I don't get. When they were taking my blood it took around about like four tubes, four big tubes so I don't know how much and it was scary but I don't feel way because normally when I get blood done I normally feel a bit like nauseous or I feel dizzy. After that appointment, I went to Harvey Nichols and then got at the bus station, started tracking the bus. My bus is an hour behind. And then we were looking at the, uh, what you call it, seats? No, at the roads that we were going. One of the main roads that we had to go was, which is the A19, that's the only easiest way to get back home. Uh, it was closed off. There's been an accident on that morning. So we had to do it, made a detour and I think we made it back. 10 minutes early but we had to find a new way to get to Middlesbrough and then it took us like around about like 20 minutes to get from Middlesbrough up to Sunderland and it's normally like a 45 minute drive and I think night time it's quick and easy so yeah so that was my lady's vlog I know it's not like long as usual I'm sure my next appointment I will try and record or I might just use my camera next time I don't know like I want to get those mini cameras like the hand the pocket size camera but they're like 800 pound and i don't have that much money so even with all this here me harvey nickel stuff that came at uh, like 100 pound and it's stuff that i've always wanted to buy so guys i'm just gonna end this video here so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and there's going to be a vlog going up not a vlog like a video going up to him don't know when but it's about my health so i'll have to do a video about that i know none of you care but i just want to put it out there in case you're like what's happening with videos and what's happening with your music i'll do a video about it because right now i'm on tablet so that is why i'm <coughs> so yeah i'll have to do a whole new video about that i know it's a bit personal for me i shouldn't really be sharing it but if i don't share it i've got a feeling it's like i'm just keeping a secret for years and years i'm gonna be thinking oh why is leone a bit weird not normally like this is normally like crazy and yeah so i'm gonna do a video about that so everyone please like comment and subscribe and if you've made it this far in the video comment down hashtag leone part two comment hashtag leone part two um i don't know why i just made that up so if you just want to comment that and i'll see you all next time good damn boy. Mwah.